This is the most epic looking Crescent Head golf course. Let's get into it. Get right. Get right. Oh, way short. Yeah. Get left. It's gonna need to go as well. Sure as it well. sounds like it's splattered. Sit, sit, sit. Oh, hit the, hit the flag. <laughs> So New South Wales and Queensland have had basically a year's worth of rain in the last couple of months. So the ground, I mean it's held up surprisingly well, but it is, it is quite wet. The greens, oh. however, seem pretty nice. Get up, get up, get up, get up. Oh, good putt. Hey. Look at that view. I just want to pull up, point out something. This is $16. $16. Look at it. It's also terrifying. Oh. Oh. Oh dear. Halfway down the hill. Whoops. Oh no. Gotta admit, my first impressions of Crescent Head are. Ah, right, this is so good. Bloody wet underfoot though. Go. Go. Oh, that went splat. It was up there, but it, just not that front of that bank there, it's splat. I'll tell you what, you want to bring your fitness game because this is some steep hill. How are you feeling about it, Damien? Yeah, I'm knackered already. <laughs> so I have gone a very, very, very long way past the hole. Right, as they say, third time's a charm. Oh, I'd have played it. <sighs> I finally got on the green. Oh, welcome to the flat stuff. I work with myself. So I've been playing woeful the last few holes, so I don't have a shred of confidence, but I'm going to go for it because why the hell not? And the wind has done nothing and it's done dead straight. If I'm lucky, it's in that gap. If I'm unlucky, those people are dead. Oh, he smashed it. That's going over the top. Don't we want to stop, hit that bank, or it's over the top. You may have gone too far. Ah, short. Come on down. Yes, first birdie. Get up, get up, get up. Good putt. <laughs> so the only problem with this beautiful, beautiful location is if you don't like an audience when you tee off, you might have to get used to it because there's a lot of people walking up and down the beach. I've got to admit, I much prefer the holes that are going towards the ocean, but you can't have all of them going towards the ocean. That'll do nicely. Oh, oh, what the hell? It hit there when it bounced up and went forward further.
find it, that's the main thing. So this is where either reading the map or paying attention comes into play. It's only a 260 odd metre par four, but I've gone straight up the hill thinking it was up the hill, and it's actually down way down there, so I've got 130 to go. So technically I've only hit 130 metre tee shot. <laughs> I left myself with an awkward stance. If it gets right, it looks good. But it's not going to get right. The wind's pushing it back. Could be in the bunker. So the other day, we were down at Eldersley, two days ago in fact, and it was about 12 or 13 degrees. And if you know this channel, you know me, I was loving it. Two days later, and I'm dying of heat, and Damien's loving it. That's what we do here, we mix it up. We look after each other. And that's how you hit a flop shot. Ah, settle, 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 settle. So please ignore my dirty golf ball. Oh. The one thing I've noticed is just how well people can put golf courses in places. Six hole golf course, play every hole three times, that's fine. With the views like this and the way this course is, I'd be happy to do that. I'm not going to, because we're going to run out a lot, but I'd be, I would be happy to do it. Oh, oh dear. Oh, camera hit. Nice shot. Go! Go! That came off like there. It's definitely one of those little holiday maker golf courses. You bring your clubs or you can hire some clubs here and have a great time. But don't think for a second that it's going to be super easy because some of these par threes are quite long and challenging. Get up. Beat the club. That looks so good. Oh, bad luck. That was a very good shot. Oh, come on. Ah. Ah, need to sit down. Oh, just long. So we've got the beach to one side of us, but how's the valley through the mountains? This place is incredible for views. If Josh pans across to the right, you'll see. Have a look at the ocean there too. Like, a ocean, find a view mountains, you will not see. Central coast, New South Wales. Or central mid-north coast, I think this is. I don't know. Somewhere Coffs, in New South Wales. Coffs Coast. Let's just go there. I know, I know that's the name of it. Some bloody good surfing, some really good fishing. And somewhere in New Holland. Somewhere, there's some good golf courses out here too, I'm tipping. Alright Josh? Well, with a bit of luck this ball will land on the green. Nah. That's not luck, that's skill. That's unlucky. Nice skill. Very good shot. That's a fluke. Great shot. So I've given myself a lot of these sort of shots uphill. You get a lot of blind shots, but also you want to bring your, your short game. Which I haven't, haven't so far. I still haven't. That's not a very good shot. Yeah, good putt. Very good read. Good speed too, dude. Lucky I'm good at the little two metre putt. It's such a beautiful, beautiful little view here. The ocean looks spectacular from up on top of that hill. This is one of the one of the prettiest little oceanside courses that we've played to date. We've played a lot of good oceanside courses. If you want to see a really cool inland course, go check out our Eldersley Golf Course review. That's sitting nicely in a valley down in Tasmania. Awesome little nine-hole course.